Well, it's, it's actually not as complicated as you think. So it's not the government's job to necessarily track down the assets. The way it works in, in practical terms is a person gets added to the sanctions list. Once they're on the sanctions list, then it's the job or the responsibility, not the job, but the legal responsibility of a bank that holds their money to no longer transact with that person. And at that point, everything gets frozen. And so it effectively gets crowdsourced. You know, let's say their stuff is not in the United States or in the UK, but in the Cayman Island. You put a person on the sanctions list, they get sanctioned everywhere. Cayman Islands, BBI, UK. And if all the countries coordinate, then there's really no civilized place they can hide. We're, we're seeing oligarchs scrambling right now, moving yachts. And, and there are stories about mad scrambles of oligarchs trying to sell properties, give them away to family members and getting divorced from their wives, and giving them property, all sorts of interesting stuff. And they will probably succeed in protecting some of their assets. But even if you don't get all their assets, just having a person on the sanctions list means that they're no longer, that they're, they're pretty much out of the game. They're benched in the international financial world.